We thought he'd run well, but you know, uh, you couldn't ever think that he'd run the way he ran. Uh, he, the way he ran, I mean, that was a, the an absolutely ex extraordinary performance. So yeah, I was very surprised. You're now going to have the four runners, which is quite outstanding for Team Williams in a Caulfield Cup. We're only on Monday, but can you sort of rate the chances in terms of how you think they're going? Um, look, they're all going well or they wouldn't be going there. Uh, you saw Cl the, the two Aidan O'Brien horses, Cliff Samoa and Yucatan, they both obviously ran on Saturday and, uh, and ran ni nice races, obviously. Uh, Holmesman, I think, ran a great race on Saturday. Uh, you know, he might have looked a little disappointing to the eye the way he finished off, but if you look at the times he ran up the hill there, uh, early in the race, he was he was certainly uh, uh, going to always going to struggle in the finish. So I think he's in with a great chance with 53. Benny Mellon will ride him. He'll give him a, he'll give him a great ride, and you know I'd think he's he's a strong chance. And the Taj Mahal he he couldn't be going any better. So yeah, I wouldn't like to split them. It's just it's it's a wonderful privilege to have four runners in one of these uh, one of the three major races of the spring. The Cliffs of Mole was sensational from the rear of the field in the Caulfield Stakes. The plan has always been to have this horse on the quick backup because that's sort of what works for him from a pattern perspective. Yes, it is. Uh, Aidan tested that out at, at Ascot this year and he certainly probably ran better the second time than he ran the first time. So, yeah, yeah look, they're certainly very confident with him as well. And, you know, I wouldn't like to split them. Obviously, uh, Yucatan was a huge eye catcher on Saturday. But, you know, the two horses up there at Macedon Lodge, I can tell you, they'll be giving a sight. Four runners in a Caulfield Cup last won the race with Faulkner a couple of years ago now. What would it mean to win it again? Oh, it would be fantastic. It's a, it's a race that uh, we've had trouble winning and uh, over the years. But, you know, it's a great initiative of the Melbourne Racing Club put the prize money up for such a wonderful level in five million. And it just it's a race that can't be ignored now. You know, it is it is without, you know, the Melbourne Cup is without doubt the uh, the world's premier two mile event. And uh, and I think the Caulfield Cup's a a heading a long way towards becoming the world's premier mile and a half event. It just shows what a great place we're in with these progressive clubs in Melbourne and what a great job they're doing for, with, with our premier races. A couple of other horses that you're now uh, heading into the vintage crop barn to have a look at. One of those is Latrobe. He took to the track this morning. Firstly, is it all well with the way he's travelled and settled in? Yeah, he's travelled absolutely perfectly. Uh, they couldn't be happy happier with him. I think he only lost three or four kilos on the trip, which is quite extraordinary. And he's put that all back on now. And you can see him out there on the track, albeit it's very windy here today. But you know he's very fresh and well. And uh, and the rider reported that he he feels very good. So it's all systems go with him. He's an Irish Derby winner. For those who don't know much about this horse, tell us what sort of a profile he fits coming into the Melbourne Cup. Well, obviously he's a three-year-old, so he gets into the race very well. You know, he gets in there this year with 52 kilos, which uh, which is obviously advantageous, uh, particularly given uh, the way the race is uh, working out this year with the older horses having to carry a little bit more weight. Um, you know, he won the Irish Derby, which is one of the major races there in Europe for the three-year-olds. Uh, so you know he's a very he's he's a very he's a very very good three-year-old. He's by Camelot, who's the new super sire up there this year, and you know we're we're very hopeful. He's a one you know there, would, there certainly wouldn't be a better better looking horse here in quarantine.